<laughs> Quiet, quit laughing. So okay, funny. okay. Hey guys, uh, shut that sink off, Adam. Oh, sorry. Hey guys, thanks for riding along with us in 2017. We had a great year. We were able to do some stuff that we never even thought was possible. Uh, we wanted to put together a little bit of a highlight reel just to kind of recap our year. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Aloha, and welcome to the Tradition Tour. You know, a lot of people, when they look for a spring break destination, they go south, maybe Florida, Mexico, but an often overlooked area is the sunny shores of Lake Superior. You know what? I lied. That doesn't <laughs> look like a fish, does it? Wow, did I get excited there. That's, this is amateur hour, clearly. This will not eat well. Back down. No! I'm gonna puke! <laughs> yeah. Oh, I set the hook! Yeah, you did. Outside, right? Better than sitting in the wind, you putts. There's Go. another one. <laughs> Alright, so this morning was kind of a bust. Um, we drilled out the lake and didn't have much success, hardly caught anything. Uh, so we got a little grub in us, got some fuel, and uh, we're headed to a new lake to uh, fish a little bit of an evening crappie bite. God, just look at that. That is an absolute giant crappie. This is a bomb. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are some absolute northern Minnesota giants. Here we so go. Straight up bombs, man. Oh, 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 oh. Is that a baby? Oh, that's a good fish. Here's another nice fish that we got tonight. How's it going, folks? We just got out on Lake of the Woods. As you can tell, it's a beautiful day, blowing about 25, a little bit of snow. You know, we're gonna target walleyes out here today. Gotta punch some holes, set up some houses, but it should be a great time. Oh, nice! <laughs> They're getting, getting bigger! bigger that's, getting uh, bigger. that's a little walleye, isn't it? First walleye. Here we go. There's a little size for us here. Hopefully we can find a couple more of these. You know, we've been catching a lot of those 16 inch fish, 17 right in that range. You know, just a beautiful Lake the Woods walleye. As a big here at Sports Village, we just got off the bomber. Uh, Sports Village cut up our fish for us that we caught this morning. So now we're going to go into the restaurant. They're going to cook it up for us. $3 a person. You can't beat that. And we're going to have a nice little meal before everybody disperses and heads their separate ways. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Team Yukon Outdoors. My name is Sam Sobiek, and I know a lot of you who are probably new to Team Yukon Outdoors are probably thinking, uh, hey, who is this guy? I haven't seen him in an episode all year, to be honest. Well, I used to do all the camera work for Team Yukon Outdoors, but uh, I recently took a job down in Texas to work with Alex Perrick and the Guggins and stuff like that. So I'm, uh, but I'm back up in Minnesota now, just for a couple days. So what better to do than uh, go ice fishing? Soviet's actually back up in Bemidji instead of being down in Texas or or just get back from New Zealand somewhere <laughs> <laughs> so I actually found this little lake yeah that's a good one there that a boy hello guys and welcome to day two um, yeah it's day two you didn't see any footage from day one because day one sucked dude I set the hook in that thing and I was like <gasps> So yeah, it was uh, pretty terrible. We caught about four inch perch the whole day. A um, couple bigger ones, 
a lot of pike and nothing really happened. We drilled out a whole lake and you know, sometimes that's giant bluegill fishing guys, basically going for a home run. We're gonna get on the move and that's the name of the game with these bluegills. You don't got a lot of time in their bite windows so you just drill until you find them. There's a big one. It was swimming in circles. I don't know if it's a I don't know if it's a gill or not. It's big. Please be a gill. Please be a gill. Yeah, it's a walleye. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> it's okay. I like walleyes. Oh my god, it's a giant gill. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Tank. Get up, woman. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god! That's a tank. That's about a four That's a tank, man. Wow. Oh yeah. my god! I finally got Red. mine! I got mine! <laughs> oh my god! Here, someone take a few pics before it gets dark. Oh <laughs> Alright, honey. Peace out. How many miles we walked? We've drove over 500 caught, holes not, today. Not caught any fish. If you're seeing this clip, that means uh, what's about to happen is going to be really sick. Oh yeah. Giant. Yeah. I'm coming. Yeah. Other way, other way. Oh my god. So tangled in the deucer. Oh yeah, there's another giant. <laughs> That's a good one too. There's another good one for you. That one's probably uh, close to 13 and a half, 13 right there. They're just smoking drop kicks right now. I had to hand line that fish because my line got caught in the deucer, but uh, luckily Adam was able to come over and help. But this is fun. Got him. Big in? I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah. Giant, but it sure feels good. There's another nice one for you. Again, this I'm using the it's a white with a little pink on a drop kick jig and the one sixteenth ounce size. I'm gonna laugh so hard it's not bike. Giant. That is a freaking. Oh my god. Give me some, buddy. Dude. <laughs> that, folks, is what we're here for. My god. That fish literally came in like three or four different times. One time my line was stuck on the ice. It's like, you know this is a giant crappie. These are both of my thumbs. Look at that thing. Is that focusing? Yep. So his nose is on. And it's just a hair, hair over 15 and a quarter. All right, it's late summer, early fall. We're in southern Minnesota on a little muddy lake. And uh, are you ready to catch some bass? Yeah, I'm, of course I'm ready to catch mm -hmm. some bass. All right, well, enough jibber jabber. Let's go find some rocks and let's catch some bass. <laughs> So I just pulled up on those rocks we just marked. I just showed you that. And uh, it's like late summer, early fall. So the air temperature is starting to get a little cooler, but the water temperature is still pretty hot. So these fish are still kind of sitting out deep. They're still kind of sitting on rocks and stuff like that. So like what I like to throw on rocks, 
and I like to drag it, is um, just this all-terrain tackle, uh, football head jig. It's uh, black and blue. Okay, so I just felt a bite. He picked me up off the bottom. Let's see if he has it in his mouth. I think he does. Yep. Got it. Feels pretty good. He just throttled it. Get him up in here. Woo! <laughs> Oh, look at that. Oh, he just throttled that right on the bottom. Yeah. Gorgeous fish. I was just pulling it right across the rocks. And he just absolutely smoked it. All right, guys, once again, thanks for your support. We're super excited for 2018. We've got some really great stuff planned, and we're going to be rolling out the content steady. Once again, this is another episode of Team Yukon Outdoors. See you next time.